Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. In this video, we're gonna go over GarageBand sound packs, what they are and how to get them. Hey guys, it's JP, welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you wanna learn all about music tech and looping, start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell, and you won't miss anything. So GarageBand on the iPhone and iPad is a fantastic digital audio workstation or door. I've actually created an entire series about going from idea to release, which we did in January of 2020. I'm gonna put a card up now so you can go back and watch that. So if you've got an idea, you can actually release that out to the world within a couple of days. But if you've played around with GarageBand, you may have noticed a thing called the sound library. The sound library is where Apple introduced new instruments, new sounds, and new loops. And the best part is it's completely free. There's lots of different packs for lots of different things. For example, we've got hip hop pack, we've got a bass amp sound pack, we've got drummers, we've got percussionists, Chinese traditional, we've got Japanese traditional. There's lots of different things and lots of different genres that they're giving you for free. If you wanna have a look around, there was currently, at the time of recording this, 19 additional packs that you can add into GarageBand. Some of these packs are really small in size, but please be aware that some of these packs have got samples and loops, and they're actually quite big in size. If you were to add all the packs, it does take an extra 1.3 gigabytes of space, even before you start recording, so be aware of that. However, these packs are a massive advantage, especially if you're recording a guitar and you want more sounds or bass and want more sounds or if you just want to add some additional loops to get into the sound library you have to create a new song or be in a song but once you're there whether you're in tracks mode or live loops sound library is available and you can just tap it it will launch and then it will show you some of the tracks that are available you can go into each individual track and have a listen to what that pack will give you so let's go into one now for example we have got here we've got songwriter drummers which is a drummer pack and we can preview it and we can see the content of what you can get from there. So for example, this one says, add inspiring grooves to your next songwriting session with three new virtual acoustic drummers. These expert drummers play in styles perfect for singer songwriters looking to add that solid beat to their compositions. Underneath you'll see the content there, you see the three drummers and also there's new drum kits and there's 30 new drummer loops. We can preview this and press play. It just gives us a sample of what the different sounds are like. what it would sound like in a song. So if I'm happy with that, I can grab that and we can click the word get. Once we've hit get, it will download that and integrate it into the existing sound library that GarageBand already has. Now it's downloaded, you can also then delete it if you don't want that sound pack and then we can get out of here. The alternative way to do this as well is if you have a look in the top left hand corner, you've got manage packs. So if you tap on that right now, you can see there we can edit the packs, you can show the installed packs. So the songwriter drummers pack was 69 megabytes, not too much to add three new drummers. However, some packs are bigger than others as I said before. So if you scroll through here, you can see one of the biggest packs is like 127, 126, 182 megabytes. But we can click get on each one of these. You don't need to put in things like your Apple ID password or anything like that. It just downloads them straight away. To access the new content, all you have to do is go to the instrument or the part that it would be added into. So if we've downloaded the songwriter drummers section, if we now go to drummers and we go to say acoustic, for example, and if we tap on Kyle there, you can see there's a couple more which are three new ones into the songwriter section. What I prefer to do is go to manage packs and literally click the word get on each of them. So what we can do is we can download them all. This will take a minute or two depending on your broadband speed, but then once you've got them, you don't have to worry about it. Some collections, like for example, the tone collections for guitar or the bass collections are one megabyte. They're actually smaller than a photograph. And then in the loop library, which is in the top right-hand corner, we've got loops here and they are continuously being updated at the moment. In the bottom right hand corner we can see 1836. That's how many items there are. Okay, filling time. <laughs> Whilst we're waiting for these to download, I want to talk to you about two things. So first of all, I have a range of t-shirts which are called How Do You Loop? If you're a looper or you like loop artists, then this is a t-shirt for you. I've designed this myself and it's available on teespring.com. I'm going to put a link into that for you now. The other thing you can do as well is you can support the channel Channel a little bit more by buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com all the links are in the description box below for both buy me a coffee and for teespring so you get a notification like this where it basically says your downloaded of chinese traditional has been completed and then it just adds it into the pack okay so we've got all the packs downloaded and we can see them here we can see the size of them and they're all installed let's say we want to take them off all we do is we can click on edit 
and you click the little minus button and that will delete them. I just want to show you the difference with a couple of things. So for example, if we scroll over to the drummer now, you can see there's a brand new percussion section. That is a pack and that is a whole new section just dedicated to percussion. With the world section, we've got a couple of extra instruments. And with the amp section, there's two more tone collections for guitar and for bass. The other thing I want to show you is the loops. So we have a lot more loops now. So if we go into here now, we have 5,162 items now, which are a mixture of WAV loops and also MIDI loops, as well as drummer loops. You'll also notice with the new loops, they'll also have the pack name underneath them. So you can see here, recollection, snare, fill, one, two, three, four, five, six. Underneath that, they just have flex and flow, and that's from the flex and flow pack. So now you've got a whole new load of sounds to play with, and with those sounds we can create a whole new load of songs. So with those songs, what are you going to do with them? Are you going to post them online? Are you going to put them up for free? Or do you want them on all the streaming sites and all the online digital stores around the world? So today, our sponsor is DistroKid. DistroKid is the one-stop solution for putting all your music out there in the world to all the streaming sites and all the online stores for one price per year. And I want to talk today about one feature in DistroKid, and that's called HyperFollow. HyperFollow is a completely free and really awesome tool for promotion for anyone using DistroKid. In today's music market, it's a must-have to have a one link that takes you to your music, and therefore it can take you to all the streaming sites, no matter who you're with. Say my friend really likes Spotify, I'm Apple Music, and another friend is on Amazon. And that's where HyperFollow comes in. But it's not just a one-stop page for people to listen to your music. The instant you finish uploading your music to DistroKid, you can start marketing your release and getting things like pre-saves from Spotify. You can even get your followers' email addresses. And that is all done through HyperFollow. Then, as soon as your release goes live on its release day, your HyperFollow page will automatically update to have all the links for all the streaming services. Also, your HyperFollow link never changes. So you never have to update your marketing or your social media posts. It's always gonna be the same link. You can find the HyperFollow for your music on your album page. It's that easy. For those who have followed me for a little while, you'd remember back in January of 2020, we made a track from Idea to release, and we released that music through DistroKid, and then we have a HyperFollow link for that. So if you go to that one page, it will then show that one track, but then show you all the different places you can listen to it from. DistroKid has one price per year, which is $19.99 to upload unlimited amount of tracks, and HyperFollow is free. Remember, you can upload as many songs as you want for one price per year and think about all the different places that people listen to. Maybe you're a real big fan of Spotify, but all your fan base is on Apple Music. You'd be actually giving yourself a disservice by not giving your music over to that service. You'd be missing out on a load of fans. Here on the channel, we've continued to partner up with DistroKid and they're giving you 7% off the first year's annual membership, whether you go for the $19.99 version or right up to the label version, which is $80 a year, you'll still get 7% off that. The link is on the screen now. It's in the description box below. So click the link and go and make some music. Now, a nice little addition for the loops is you can actually filter them by the pack. So you can see under search Apple loops, you've got filter by. If you tap on here, you can filter by all sound packs or you can actually just pick the sound packs that you want. So you just want the edges and angles one and you can have a look at that. The other thing with the loops is you can search right all loops or you can just, just search MIDI loops so you can change them later or just audio loops or just drummer loops. You can even search by scale. So any scale, major, minor, neither, or both. My advice would be download them all if you can and you've got the space. The reason is because if I was working on a song and I've got a couple of loops or a couple of sounds and I gave that song to you to finish off, then you'd be missing that pack. That's something else that can happen, but the great thing about GarageBand is it will give you a warning or a sign to say, you're missing this particular pack for this project. Just download that one pack or these packs that you need and you're ready to go. Also, if someone has got a project that's got loops in and you don't have those loops, then you have to sit there and download them. Whereas if you've already got them on your device, then you're ready to go with any loop that people will throw at you. I hope you found the content of this video useful. And if you have, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me. It tells YouTube that you like it and it sends it out to more people and helps my channel grow. Remember to have a look at the links in the description box below for buying this t-shirt and buymeacoffee.com. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.